Our next speaker, who is Brother Sajid Aga. Brother Sajid Aga is a postgraduate in management. He has been a part of the financial services industry for the last 20 years. Having worked in different roles in the investment banking and private banking space, he is presently a risk and controls manager for a leading foreign bank operating through the, its branches in India. He also enjoys keen interest in philosophy, especially its influence in the Muslim world. Uh, so now I would like to call upon him to come and deliver his speech on the 12th talk program and his topic is Imam Mahdi mentioned in the Bible. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad wa ajjil farajahum wa ahlika duvvahum min al jinn wal insi min al awwaleen wal akhireen Auzu billahi min al shaytan al ayn al rajim bismillah ar rahman ar rahim With the permission of the Maulanas, the ulama and uh, respected brothers, salamu alaikum as the topic has been introduced to you, the topic is the mention of Imam Mahdi Farajahu Sharif in the Bible. Now, this is a very important discussion. While probably we do not give a lot of attention to it, but I thought that in the few minutes which we have, I could draw your attention to some significant aspects of this discussion. We all know that so if you have read a novel or you have read a story or you have read any book for that matter, our interest means every reader is keen on seeing the protagonist succeed and evil being defeated in the end. So even if you are a new reader, if it's a child or if you have grown up or for that matter there is any book, what everybody wants, there is a desire that we see that the protagonist, like we usually, we do, it's not an appropriate term over here for this discussion, but so that everybody understands it, we want the hero to win and we want the villain to lose. It might not be appropriate words for this discussion, but I think it so that I can communicate my message to you, I have used these words. This is the nature of man. And this idea has very clearly been propounded in the Islamic faith, especially the details with which it has come in the Shia ideology is remarkable. We discuss this at such great length that it is one of the foremost discussions in the Holy Quran. I will just recite one ayat. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد كتبنا في الزبور من بعد الذكر أن الأرض يرثها إبادية صالحون الله تعالى declares in the Holy Quran that most surely ولقد most surely we have written in the زبور after noting it in the Torah that this land will be inherited by the virtuous people now, is this an idea which we Muslims and Shias in particular are expanding or is it an idea which exists in human thought, in human ideology, does this principle exist or it does not exist? Firstly, we see that the human nature, like I started with the human nature wants that truth, goodness, niceties are successful. This is what human nature wants. Has this even been agreed by other religions? I thought it might be worthwhile that we bring the Bible. I have brought the Holy Bible for you. And the idea is that rather than, you know, reading it from my card, I would want you to acknowledge and appreciate that these verses are very clearly documented in the Holy Bible itself. I will read it and inshallah we will see that what does the Bible say about this topic. The Bible in the chapter of Psalms. Okay, before I start on the discussion of Bible, I think it is important that we recognize some things. Number one, the Holy Bible is a collection of multiple books. It is a collection of the Old Testament, the Old Testament. It has the Psalms, which is Zabur, and it also has the New Testament or the Gospels. So these are three primary books which constitute 
the holy bible now in this one more thing we need to recognize that there have been interpolations or if i put it in simple words there have been some type of amendments and changes which have occurred to the bible so over a period of time for multiple reasons and one of the most primary reason why these changes have happened of course there could be sometimes vested interests which have brought about these changes which is beyond discussion over here but one of the primary reasons for these interpolations is and these changes is that the bible was originally in aramaic language or the hebrew language this was the native language or the language of hazrat e isa alaihi salam jesus spoke in this language and it is very improper and inappropriate that allah reveals a book in some other language so the original bible found today is in greek so the aramaic language was very quickly translated to greek during the olden days and the original language original version has been lost so there have been some interpolations which have occurred because of that we need to recognize this whenever we discuss the holy bible in this case so in the chapter of psalms this is the verse and in fact the entire chapter in uh, it's i think it's the psalms is chapter number 37 the entire chapter if you will see i will read a few verses i will just keep numbering naming the verses for you verse number 9 the verse reads for evil men will be cut off but those who hope in the lord will inherit the earth another verse verse number 10 a little while and the wicked will be no more then continuing in verse number 16 and 17 better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked for the power of the wicked will be broken verse number 22 those the lord blesses will inherit the land verse number 34 wait for the lord and keep his way he will exalt you to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off you will see it verse number 37 and 38 consider the blameless observe the upright there is a future for the man of peace but all sinners will be destroyed now this is the same thing the holy quran says wala qad katabna fi zabur we have written in the zabur and this is exactly from zabur where i have read what is there an al arza yarisu ibadi as salihun that the righteous people will inherit the earth this land will become the land of the virtuous and the good people very clearly i read it from so quran is actually endorsing the view the words of the zabur in these verses like you know i mentioned the holy bible recognizes the psalms or the zabur for that matter and what we see from there is that this belief of the earth being filled with justice goodness is a recognized belief across all divided religions okay it's there in the torah it is there in the injil it is there in the zabur it is there in the holy quran so this is no new belief we bring now the discussion starts primarily is that who will fill this earth with justice who will fill this earth with goodness who will fill this earth with that what allah has promised now due to paucity of time i will just bring one very famous verse of the torah of deuteronomy deuteronomy is the chapter of the bible holy bible the verse reads this is deuteronomy Uh, chapter 33 the first verse over there the verse reads the lord came from sinai and dawned over them from seir he shone forth from mount paran now this is the verse which is categorically used by all religions to speak about sinai means referring to hazrat e musa alai salam seir is referring to hazrat e isa alai salam and then paran the discussion starts because from the bible it ends with isa alai salam so paran is actually the place called faran this is how it is actually translated when it comes to arabic it is faran and faran means the land of two refugees two refugees who are the two refugees two people who sought shelter hazrat e ismail and janab e hajra so this is the land which allah is talking so the three prophets allah has spoken about which is there in this interpolated version also is 
the third one and the last one mentioned is the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now i'll bring a very see we, we have heard about this this is not a new verse i'm presenting to you this is an oft repeated oft brought off discussed verse when it comes to the discussion of the islam in the bible the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the bible but one important point to remember over here is three prophets hazrat musa alaihi salam hazrat isa alaihi salam and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allahumma salla after him there is no discussion of any other prophet means prophethood as per the semitic religions has ended with the holy prophet now the world if it is to be filled with justice by somebody then he has to be from the third one because this is going to be happen towards the end of the world this is going to happen towards the end of the era means people like maulana sahab mentioned people will be tired people will be frustrated and then they will call upon and they will cry out to allah that allah we want to see something happen we want your justice on this earth and then that justice will come that is the last phase of this it might be a prolonged period it will be a long period but the point is after that you will not see any crime associated with this world so in that if you see in the holy bible itself the description is given of the faran family means hazrat ismail would be having 12 children the the bible very explicitly speaks about the 12 princes who will be from the progeny of hazrat ismail so if it is the 12 children means like the bible says hazrat musa alaihi salam hazrat isa alaihi salam then rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and he will have 12 princes or the 12 imams like we call them when he has a 12 imams then in those 12 imams this earth will be now the 11 imams have passed the 12th imam is the existing imam and this prophecy of the holy quran this prophecy of zubur this prophecy will get established which allah has promised in the torah after the zuhur of the 12th imam so while all people all means christians as well as the muslims we both acknowledge that the world will be filled with justice but the discussion has always been whether is the second coming of christ or it's going to be imam mahdi with a logical approach it would be preposterous it would not be a logical and a reasonable argument to say that it is a second coming of christ because the era of christ has ended with the prophet coming from mount paran means after mount paran christianity and the leadership of the religion has ended new dispensation has come new religion has come that carries on till the 12th imam and when the 12th imam comes and he reappears that prophecy is remaining to be fulfilled which will be fulfilled by the 12th imam so with a little bit of logical discussion we really clearly and see it in a demonstrative way that these verses these prophecies of the bible refer to imam mahdi and not to the second coming of christ which we believe but not in the context of the person who would fill this earth as a leader with justice and equality wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ariza isli khake shifa se likha hai zarur ho नायत इमाम आखिर की